Hello, my name is Kevin, and here I'll be continuing on from the previous tutorial showing you some advanced OSC and binds in Sensor Music USign Hollyhog. Here I have the same setup as before, a Fern running Touch OSC with both the Fern and the computer that USign is running on connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In the previous tutorial we correctly configured the OSC settings, the IP address here is equivalent to the IP address here. The port outgoing here is equivalent to the OSC in port here. In this tutorial, we are going to be using the phone's accelerometer to manipulate values within USign. To do that, first we are going to have to activate this function in the options page by clicking here. Now we can start touch OSC, and here we have the same interface as before, but as well as sending data from the surface controls, Touch OSC will now also be sending accelerometer data. Let's get a new OSC device set up within USign by first opening up a new workspace, clicking the Devices tab, add OSC in, and renaming this device. When we double click on this device, we can see that it consists of an OSC lister with the accelerometer values already present. As from before, as we manipulate any of the other values, they too will be added to the OSC lister, but we are not as interested in those now, so let's delete these two buses, and let's add a data bus for each of the accelerometer axes. We can now see the result of this in the binds tab. So now as I move the fern, the binds also move accordingly. Let's see this in action. I'm going to bring in an external audio file, create a grain sampler, and from here we can drag in each of these binds to any of the faders as required. And now we can control these faders in real time. As always, we can manipulate the fader values by right-clicking and for example, changing the minimum or maximum or by going to the MIDI OSC tab and changing the curvature of the bind, like so. For some, the smoothness may be an issue, so here we can double click on the Touch OSC device we just created, and here we can add in a smooth module in between or directly before the buses. Voila. And that concludes this tutorial.